Okay, AP calculus AB, implicit differentiation, including an ln of y function. And usually we have an ln of x function, so that's where the implicit differentiation is going to come in. So the first thing I'm going to do is this. If I was doing this on the AP exam, if it was free response, I'd show that I was going to take ddx of this whole thing. And as I do, ddx, or the derivative of x squared, is 2x. The derivative of this is negative 3 is the constant multiplier. The first derivative of any ln function is 1 over whatever this is. So 1 over y times the derivative of the inside function. And the derivative of the inside function is dy dx. Same thing here, but we're going to use the chain rule. So the derivative of the outside function is 2y. The derivative of the inside function is dy dx, dy dx. And we take the derivative of 10. 10 is a constant, so it's a horizontal line, and the derivative of a horizontal line is 0. The slope of a horizontal line is 0, right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get all these terms that have dy dx on the left-hand side and move everything else to the right. So I'm going to add negative 2x to both sides. So there's my negative 2x on both sides. Good. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out these terms of dy dx. So I'm going to take dy dx. Hey, even check this out. If I take dy dx times negative 3 over y, I'll get negative 3 over y dy dx, won't I? And if I multiply dy dx times 2y, well, 2y times I'm sorry, dy dx times 2y is 2y dy dx, isn't it? Is equal to negative x. What I am going to do is simplify this a little bit. This fraction here is over y. This one is not. So to make it an equivalent, Hector, I'm going to go ahead and multiply this whole piece right here by y over y, which gives me y squared over y, doesn't it? Can you see that this would cancel itself out, wouldn't it? <coughs> but now I can add these things together. So I'll get dy dx times 2y squared. I'm going to put the positive term first. Minus 3 all over, yeah, all over y. Good job, Rainy. Is equal to negative 2x. Remember that we are asked to solve for dy dx. So I'm going to multiply this by its reciprocal. And I'll get that dy dx is equal to negative 2x two times y, right, over 2y squared minus 3. The only thing I'm going to do, Rainy, is I'm going to take this negative 1 right here, and I'm going to multiply it through here, which would make this 3 minus, right? Okay? And that's dy dx, implicit differentiation of an ln of y function.